Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through and show you how to build a run sheet. A run sheet is basically what you're going to run in a specific month. So at the end of every month, I'm prepped and ready to go for what I want to run the next month. And so in this case, I will show you my May run sheet and kind of the outcome, kind of how it worked out for me for the month of May. And I'll show you my actual live trades, the bots placed and give you some insight into how I think about this. But first, our May run sheet is, if any of you have ever run a back test in MetaTrader 5, and you've got stuck and kind of fallen down the trap of always testing, always optimizing, kind of losing you know, your place, figuring out where the heck am I going with all these tests, and getting bogged down in that, this should help you get unstuck. And the objective of a run sheet is not to just run tons of tests. The objective is to identify what specifically are you confident enough in that you want to run for the next month. And so I do this at the end of every month. It's a new thing I just started doing a few months ago and it's worked out really, really well. It helps me stay focused. And so what I wanna do here is I wanna share with you guys, uh, we're gonna show you and I'm going to walk you through this is my May run sheet. And what I'm going to do is I want to show you there's so much stuff you need to know about and think about when it comes to run sheet. One of which is what bot am I going to run on what ticker, on what time frame, with what settings, right? What optimized settings am I going to use? Am I going to run multiple bots in one account? How two, two bots at the same time with half size risks? Or in this case, I'm running two bots with full size risk in the same account, but in this case, I'm only running the opening range breakout on AMD on a five minute chart on Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm running the snapback on Thursday. So in this account, in this setup, I'm only taking three trades, not per day, but per week, three a week. As you guys may know, the snapback and the opening range breakout are one and done type trades. And so in this case, I have both of these configured. Um, the open range breakout is configured to run on Mondays and Thursdays only. And then snapback is configured to run on Tuesdays. And I'm using the default settings. And so as you guys may recognize, this is just the strategy output. So this is an export report directly from MedTrader 5. And what I do is I have to decide what, what am I gonna run this same account? So in this account, I have this output. And then over here I have uh, this other uh, bot as well. And so what I'm doing is I'm running a thousand uh, dollars of risk. And um, th even though my bot itself is kind of the back test shows 5,000, I'm actually running it in a hundred K account. And this will show me kind of what the outcome is. And this is uh, you guys have heard me before. If you've taken my bot class, how I do a deep dive where I'm going to jump in and explore. Here's what I would have done every single month with this exact strategy, this exact you know ticker, this exact time frame on this exact bot since the beginning of the year. And in this case, I would have had seven trades in uh, January and February, and then eight in March and April. And May is finished, but I don't have the back test data because this is the end of the day on May. I will report that it was very, very successful, very profitable. And all I'm doing is I'm deciding what am I gonna run in what account? So this is account number one. And I will show you, uh, we'll look at my first account. Actually, this is my the wrong account, sorry team. Let's jump over here. And this is basically all the AMD trades that is taken. Uh, and as you uh, just saw, we are taking the opening range breakout on one, I'm sorry, the opening range breakout on two days a week and snapback on the other. And you can see all the comments. I have enabled this comment column here. So you guys can see, you know, what trades were taken. And you'll notice not, you'll notice that it only does take a handful of trades. And so in this account, I did start it at the tail end. It did take one trade at the tail end of April. Uh, I was actually accidentally set up and ran it live. I meant to just configure it, but oh, well, I'll take a win. And so far in this account, it was up about 4R, basically 4R on the month. It did take, it looks like not counting uh, the one at the end of April, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins and was that five losses so even then still decent to uh, be up 4r in this account and that is the first one that i have set up in uh in my run sheet 
The next one is the one that actually got funded this month, brand new account. I ran each, I set up three brand new accounts. This is running one, this is running one, and then this is running a different one by itself. This uh, takes three trades a week, this takes five, and then this just is random based on gap sizes. And so what I try to do is I try to organize these by color code them because it just tells me, hey, these two are color coded, AKA in the same account. These are both running in the same account. And so all I'm doing is that the, the normal process of exporting the report, you guys can see when I ran the report at the end of April or almost a week before the end of April, and I'm configured to run this on a one minute chart on Tesla. This is the opening range breakout with pretty much the default settings, nothing special. And on Monday and Tuesday, I'm running the snapback, which is this strategy here. Here's the output of that. And on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm running the opening range breakout. Again, these two bots, full size risk in one account, only taking three trades a week. And this uh, bot in this account, and I'll walk you through that. This actually was the account I got literally funded. And so this is up 10 R on the month. It did same thing as before. It did take a uh, accidentally took a, uh, a win, a trade, which is a small win on at the end of April. But even then, this looks like it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 wins and four losses, something like that. No, 14 wins and four losses. So, yeah. And again, you can see kind of the each bot, it has its own comment of what it is. And to enable that, you can just basically go into columns and you can add, turn on the, the comment itself to get that column added. So that's what I set up for my May run sheet. Uh, I'm still working on June, so I will share that here shortly. But this is the other uh, bot that I ran, and this is the Gap bot. Most of you do not have this. This is kind of a private reserve collection. Reach out to me if you're interested. But what this bot does is it trades... Same thing, kind of same idea of snapback and opening range breakout, but only on stocks that have a gap of one, in this case, 1.2% or more. That is the setting you can configure that. And in this case, I'm only running it on NVIDIA. I'm working on a new version where you can have multiple, um, multiple tickers uh, to, to kind of watch and trade gaps. And so same thing, I'm doing this deep dive where I'm manually just kind of calculating, hey, how, how would this have won and performed each and every month? I will tell you it was profitable in May. We'll look at those trades here in just a second. But again, just because there's we're not trading at specific days, it's just whenever there's gaps. In this case, you can see in January, February, it was quite profitable. Got a little less trades uh, that, that came um, in the last three months. But uh, here is basically every month. And then here is cumulative January, February, and March would have been up you know, nicely on and it shows the uh, overall DD is your drawdown. I do like to see that as a negative number. I know MetaTrader 5 typically shows that as a just a, a whole not or a, a positive number. And so we're going to take a look at this account on my May run sheet. We're going to take jump into this. And so this was also up 4.2R. And uh, you'll see here that these are all labeled the gap bot. And this one, uh, it didn't, didn't take nearly as many trades as the other bots that took, um, at least these Tesla configuration took, uh, I think it was 18 trades, four, four, one, 14, one, four lost. But in this case, the gap bot looks like it took uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 trades. So 10 trades. And then out of that, looks like three. So 10 wins and three losses. So about 13, is that right? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, sorry, seven wins, three losses for net of about 4.2 R. I'm running this 100K account. So again, for a recap of the entire month, I got one account fully funded since the beginning. Uh, it took about three, three and a half weeks since the beginning of May. And then I have two other accounts that are almost right at the halfway point, uh, all full ends all done within the account configuration of these bots and making sure that I'm using the appropriate amount of risk and I'm not hitting my max drawdown of 6%. The new funded accounts now allow up to 6% overall max drawdown, which makes it even easier to get your account funded. And that's it. That's what I have. Those are my, that's how you build a run sheet. 
and you basically just decide on what you want to run and you have to make some decisions on what size account you want to run it in. And if you're running two bots in one account, how are you going to configure that? And that's really it. And so when you're running your back test and you get stuck in the middle of what am I doing? I got, you know, fall asleep. Sometimes I'll fall asleep with my laptop and I, I don't even know what I was running. I got lost, right? And so hopefully the run sheet and working towards back tests for the purpose of building your run sheet, what you're going to run in the upcoming month, hopefully that will get you guys uh, on the right track and we'll get some more funded accounts. I know I've had uh, several people who are super close to getting some accounts funded in May uh, and uh, excited to hear from you guys. Let me know what you, uh, let me know your thoughts on the run sheets or if you have any questions. Thanks.